Stop telling your man about your past. All things are passed away and everything has become new. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, your number one relationship therapist in Africa. And I want to talk about you today, especially you the women. Stop telling your man about your past. I know when you are engrossed in emotion, love, you want to run your mouth and tell him everything. I want him to know everything. It's your past. And it's called past because it is dead and it is buried. You are not even supposed to remember your past because that's no longer you. No need of digging it up. Many of you have messed up your life and your relationship today just because you go to dig up your past. I don't know what you are trying to prove. You're trying to prove that you're a good girl. Is he Jesus Christ? Why are you confessing your sins to him? Is he a priest or is he a pastor? Let me tell you something about human beings. We are naturally judgmental. That, that is, is why we are not God. Human nature, we are naturally judgmental. Whoever you tell will judge you. Now, there is something I want you guys to understand. There is what is called subconscious. When you tell people about your past, they don't mean to judge you. But the human head is like a videotape. Anything you tell them plays and it records them. Now, let me tell you something about your past. Your past is your mistake. Your past is ignorant. Your past is you did not know what you did then. And anything you did in your past, the person you are with at that point was not connected to your past. Bury it. The only reason you can tell your man or your woman about your past is except the past is futuristic. Things like when you have had a child, when you have been married, or probably you did something that affected your health. That is when you can share. Futuristic simply means that it is connected to them and is going to affect them. So they need past to is a debt that you have thrown away. If your past was good enough, you're not going to leave it behind you. Any man that is asking you of your past does not love you. It simply means he's looking for what to use against you. Because when there is a misunderstanding, when there is a quarrel, people dig up your past to hurt you. So that man that is telling you, tell me how many man you have slept with. <laughs> tell me if you have sugar daddy. <laughs> tell me. It simply means he's looking for something to archive that he's going to use against you in the court of the law. So long as your past does not have any business with them, whether you have slept with 20 sugar daddy, 100 sugar daddy, so long as it did not affect your health, it did not affect your womb, it did not affect your life, my darling, shut your mouth up and keep it to yourself because all things are passed away and everything has become new it is called being born again in the regional aspect you are born again and you can't even remember what you did in the past you're brand new now there's something you need to understand about past if you meet me now i'm 31 years old i wasn't the person you saw last five years i'm a different person it simply means you are meeting a new person i have learned i have grown and mind you, what attracted you to me is my growth. Is what you have seen. Is the things I have embedded. Now there's something you don't understand. People were not loving you before because of some certain things you are doing. And they are now loving you now because of the things you have dropped and the things you are now doing. Now you cannot come into my life and start asking me of the things that I have dropped. Meanwhile, it is the things that I am doing right now that attracted you. It simply means you are a demon. You are an enemy of progress. Or you're just looking for something to archive that you're going to use against me. Run from that man or from that woman who is asking you about your past. It's not love. It's not because they want to know. Because that information they're asking you is useless to them. They need Why to know. Now let me quickly tell you the meaning of archive. Archive simply means they will keep it for you. Things you have done 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, while you were growing up as an adolescent, as a young person, all those your youthful exuberance, all those your mistakes, don't forget, it was that mistake that molded you into the woman that you are, into the president that you are, into the governor that you are. Somebody is archiving your past for you so that when you become a good person, when you have dropped that past that has molded you, they will bring it to use it against you. So anybody that comes up to ask you of your past about the things that you are dropped about the things that you are not proud of does not love you everybody you have told your past have used it against you subconsciously you see that man that say i love you that woman that say i love you they will mess you up with your past learn to keep some certain things to yourself it is only what you tell people that you know any other thing they hear is gist so learn to shut your mouth the power that you have are the things that you say and the things that you concur and agree to let me tell you something 
Do you know the reason why God gave you a heart that nobody can see is because God wants you to be able to keep some things to yourself? If God did not want you to keep some things to yourself, he would have made your heart a mirror. Anybody that comes into your life will see through your heart. He gave you a heart so that you can be able to keep some things to yourself. Secrecy is different from privacy. Secrecy is what you want to hide. Privacy is what you do not want people to know. Keep your past private. You can only tell your spouses what connects to them. Like I said, futuristic past when it connects to their health when it probably you've had children before you've been married before you need to tell them all that because it connects to them any other thing that does not connect to them keep it to yourself throw it in fact memory loss you don't even remember get into a new relationship this world is called amnesia memory loss format your system when you get into a relationship you format your system when you read a book, you can't go ahead carrying about all the books that you read. You pick lessons. So when somebody tells you, have you read this book, you remember what you learned from the book. That is what you do with your past. Pick every lesson from your past and drop every garbage. You can't be going around with garbage. You can't be going around with your mistakes. No! Pick the lesson. It is only the lesson because it is the lesson that is going to mold you to become the kind of woman or the kind of man that somebody wants to date is because you have left that thing behind. Drop your past, pick the mistake, and walk. Format your system. It's like a new phone. When you buy a second-hand phone, you format it. Nobody will know that anybody ever used it. Remove all the information. Memory loss. Amnesia. You're not remembering what? Memory loss. When a man asks you, baby, how many men have you slept with? Tell him, ah! I cannot remember how many men I have slept with. I can only remember the man I am sleeping with. I don't remember my past. I don't go around carrying my past. I only remember my present and my future. I don't remember where I have gone. I remember where I am going to. That is what we should focus on. Nobody should ask you that stupid question. How many men have you slept with? How many men did you slept with? Have you been a lesbian before? Have you been a homosexual before? Have you been a da -da -da before? Are you an investigator? Are you a newscaster? Are you a blogger? What do you need such information to? My darling, focus on me. Focus on the new me you're seeing right now and get the best out of it because that is what attracted you in the first place. If my past was attractive, then go dig. Take your shovel and don't disturb me. Dear women, learn to shut up.